Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Bible story time. I am so glad you're here because we are finishing up a story today that we started last time. And this is a pretty amazing story. So before we get started retelling that story and hearing about the new part, I want us to get ready to hear our story. So let's wake our bodies up. Can you stand up with me? And let's sing Open, Shut Them. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. Good job. I think you're ready to hear our story from the Bible. Can you make your hands look like that book with me for the Bible? Let's open it up. Wow, our true story today is about a man named Joseph. I hope you remember our story, but if not, I'm going to retell part of it right now. This true story, that means this really happened. A long time ago, you remember there was Joseph and his dad gave him this fancy, colorful coat and his brothers got really mad. So they took his coat, they threw him in a hole and then they took him out of the hole and sold him as a slave to people in Egypt far away. And then when he was in Egypt, he ended up getting thrown in jail. <gasps> oh no, he was stuck in jail. That's not very happy. I bet that he felt pretty sad, but we learned last week that Joseph knew that no matter what happened, God was with him and that God had a plan for him. But right now, he was in jail. Uh-oh. But then also, somewhere else in Egypt, there was a man named Pharaoh. Pharaoh was like the king. He was in charge. He was the ruler of Egypt. He was powerful. So Pharaoh, can you say Pharaoh with me? Pharaoh, good. Pharaoh had a dream. <sighs> Let's all pretend to go to sleep. <sighs> oh, <laughs> good morning. Pharaoh had a dream about an animal. Can you help me guess what animal it is? This animal makes this noise. Moo. You're right. You knew that one. It was, oh, no, upside down. It's a cow. Pharaoh had a dream about seven cows. That's kind of funny to have a dream about seven cows. And he also had a dream about some stalks of wheat. That's what we use to make bread. Hmm. Bread sounds pretty yummy. Let's pretend to eat a snack. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, delicious. So Pharaoh had this dream about cows and wheat. But he wanted to know, what does that mean? So Pharaoh was thinking about his dream and someone told him, hey, I know this guy named Joseph and Joseph can tell you what your dream is about. So Pharaoh went and got Joseph out of prison. So Joseph was in jail. And then Pharaoh took him out and he said, what's my dream about? And Joseph told him, he said, your dream means that people are going to be hungry. There's not going to be enough food for them. So we need to save up all of the food now so that when there is not enough food and people are hungry, they can come to Egypt and get some food. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph told him what the dream was about. He was so happy that he said, Joseph, you do not have to go back to prison. And Joseph, I am going to make you in charge. Wow. So Pharaoh was the king, but he put Joseph in charge of a big job in Egypt. Whoa. So Joseph, Joseph started off with his family and then he ended up in Egypt, and then he ended up in jail. And now God's plan for him was to have this big, important job in Egypt? Wow, this is a lot of different things that have happened in Joseph's life. But when Joseph was there, guess what? A 
couple years passed and it happened. Everyone started to get hungry and there wasn't enough food. Oh no, can you rub your tummy like you're hungry? Yeah, and everyone came to Egypt to get food, even Joseph's brothers. Joseph's brothers came to Egypt and they saw him and Joseph got to talk to his brothers again. So our really sad story about Joseph, when they took his coat and sold him and put him in jail, did it stay sad forever? No, it didn't. He got to meet the Pharaoh and help the people who were hungry and see his family again. Wow, God really did have a plan for Joseph. Even when it didn't look like it, God knew what he was gonna do. And just like God had a plan for Joseph's life, God has a plan for your life too. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Let's try that all together. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, he does. Even if it doesn't always look like it or you don't know what it is, you can know that God knows and God has a plan for your life. All right, friends, I am ready to sing and dance. Are you ready to sing and dance? Oh, good. Well, let's go over and visit Miss Wendy. Hello, everyone. It's Miss Wendy. I'm so glad to be here with you guys this week. You know, I was listening to Miss Molly's story and I got to thinking, you know, I don't think I've ever dreamt about a cow. Have I? Hmm, must be missing something. Anyway, it's so awesome to know that God has a plan for me. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. All right, let's stand up and sing our new song. Here we go. Special plan. 
our Bible, pretend Bible hands. Whoop. There we go. Our Bible verse comes from Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and it goes like this. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Let's try it quiet as a mouse. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Now let's try it loud. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Yes, the Lord says that he knows the plans he has for you. Wow. That's so great. God knows his plans for you and for me. I'm so glad that God knows the plans because God is awesome and he's so good and he loves us. So he's a good one to know all of the plans for us and we can always trust him. All right. I'm so glad you came to listen to this story with me and I will see you back next time. Goodbye, everybody.